I'll wait here for you. Where were y'all in the year 2002? Me? I was just about graduating high school. Damn, I'm old. What a reminder. But perhaps some of you out there were playing third-person action RPG Enclave, if you're British or Enclave here in North America. I don't know, you can say it either way as far as I can tell. Yes, before we had the endless slew of Souls games giving masochistic gamers difficulty boners on the daily, we had Enclave from Starbreeze Studios. Eventually ported over to Windows PC, but unfortunately cancelled on the GameCube, and Enclave, I'm gonna swap back and forth here, released to pretty decent reviews, and a sequel was even planned, though legal issues led to its demise. While I can't bring you a sequel for today's review, I've got the next best thing, because yes indeedy, Enclave is back, and heading to consoles as Enclave HD. Okay, I'll stick with Enclave. I mean, that's what the narrator said, okay? That's right, nearly 10 years later, we return to the world of light and darkness, and one thing I gotta say, the writers were pretty ambitious with this title, with a well-fleshed-out story that's a lot deeper than I expected it to be. All the fantasy tropes are here. You've got your magical lands, peaceful villagers having the rug swept out from underneath them, warriors, mages, you name it, they include it. But the devs didn't stop there, as the game also includes two, yes, two campaigns. Only one is selectable initially, but thankfully an old Xbox cheat code that I looked up online still works to this day. So yeah, Google it if you want, or or do this the legit way, damn it. Either way, the light and dark campaigns tell their own stories and feature their own sets of characters to use, which even today is pretty awesome. Now, it's honestly hard for me to sit here and be overly critical with this game because Enclave HD is still ultimately an old-ass Xbox game with plenty of jank. It's times like these I am beyond thankful we don't do scored reviews here, so be warned, this is an old game. Yes, there have been some improvements, and it's not a bad thing that it is a bit of a relic of the past, but don't go into this expecting a completely overhauled experience. Yes, there have been a few visual upgrades, the frame rate is nice and smooth, I mean, you would hope so by now, and you do have 20 new musical compositions, all of which are excellent. Hell, even some of the old music has been remastered, and that's great too, but the combat is still going to feel clunky, you'll have plenty of low-res textures, and ultimately, a pretty simplistic equipment and upgrade system by modern standards. Now that we're clear on what this game is, let me tell you how it plays. The game's broken up into various levels, with your goal typically being to to reach the end while slaying monsters, avoiding traps, and collecting gold to upgrade your equipment. Players activate their weapons with the R1 and L1 buttons. Yes, I was playing on PS5, which played this PS4 game just fine for the most part, by the way. And you swing your mighty blade with the R2 button. The nice thing here is that you don't need to continually mash the attack button, you can simply hold it down. Outside of that, you have a torch to light darkened areas, a jump, a shield for blocking, and an action button for pressing switches. Levels are fairly linear, and enemies are somewhat mindless, but can dish out plenty of damage if you're playing on the normal and hard difficulties. Yes, you do have an easy mode, thank the lord. Oh, and of course, the slow potion chug to heal, which we've seen in so many Souls titles at this point, is ever-present in Enclave. Completing levels also unlocks new character classes, and in between, you can choose between these characters. Some are better at fighting from a distance using bows or magic, others are going to be better brute-forcing their way through Bone Daddy's orcs and other monsters. There's even a few of what some might consider puzzle elements in some of these dungeon levels, though they're quite rudimentary in nature, so I might be using that phrase generously. We're talking about hopping over a few blocks in order to open a door, or something like that. Very basic stuff. A lot of the levels are simply getting from point A to point B, reaching the exit, doing the next level. Some levels you'll meet up with non-playable characters, and you might even need to protect them from enemies in order to have them reach the end destination with you. There's a few keys to find from time to time, but nothing too complex. While the combat and exploration is pretty straightforward, it's also not as terrible as one might expect for such an old game. Sure, you won't be rolling and parrying and performing all the crazy actions that you can in more modern games, but there is almost an arcade feel here. It's a lot faster than your typical Souls game. I also like the various traps scattered across levels and a checkpoint system that allows for respawning. Alright, so now that I've spent a good amount of time with Enclave, to be honest, it's really not that much like a Souls game, at least not the ones of today. Sure, there are similarities to be drawn, but it's a game that definitely has that quicker pace to it, more linear levels 
tells a more straightforward story and tonally more in line with something like Champions of Norath back in the day. Damn, that was a good game now that I think about it. I don't know why that's the one that came to mind. One other cool feature that I should mention is that you can actually switch to a first person view at any time throughout your gameplay as well. So if you want to play it that way, you can. It wasn't my preferred way of playing, but it is an option. And yes, enemies were tweaking out, wilding out on me from time to time. Hell, the game crashed entirely once, but you know, I've dealt with worse in the indie space than one crash, so it wasn't a huge deal. Yet there's something likable about Enclave HD. Maybe it's the simplicity of it all. Maybe I enjoyed having levels versus a big open world. Whatever it is, this old timer has its charms. If you can work your way through a sometimes clunky experience with old ass level design and graphics, you may just end up with a smile on your face. The new soundtrack really is quite fantastic, so that adds another element to it that makes going back a little bit easier. A lot of beautiful orchestrated pieces here that really fit the mood and vibe of this game quite well. While one could argue a greater effort could have been made in the entire package here, you could have freshened it up maybe a bit more for 2023. Maybe not every game needs that treatment. Maybe Enclave HD can serve as a reminder that we don't need someone to tell us a game is a 10 out of 10 to have a good time. It can just be fun. And that's what this game is, even all these years later. Still pretty fun. <laughs> Yeah! 